Hey everyone, I just want to go through a new project I've been working on, which is called ULPM for Unlocked Physical Memory. Now the point of this is that there is a user mode section and a driver section. The driver section is installed and basically allows, well not basically, it does allow direct access to physical memory from user mode without any sort of authentication, without any sort of restriction. It just completely opens a massive hole in your system. But to me, it's actually really nice because I can develop some sort of like a payload uh, for working with the kernel, given, given I want to work on actually making a payload and testing a payload, and then looking for an actual exploit that I could get physical memory access. Uh, I do want to say that the, the intentions of this is not for malware reasons, so I swear if I see anyone who uses this code in some sort of like a virus and like installs a driver and then uses the driver for uh, physical memory access, I'll be really pissed off. That's not the aim of this. The point of this is actually to go through security research and develop payloads and do more theoretical and testing things and then you can develop a payload and then when an exploit comes around you can demonstrate that you are actually able to take advantage of the system and compromise it by using that exploit. So, once again, that's more for white hack and white hat and making systems more secure. I can't emphasize that enough. I the, whatever. Okay. So, I made a really quick test program here um using my little API that I made that's really simple to use. You get a handle to the driver. I I also got rid of all the error checking to make it easy. So, you get a handle to the driver. Uh here I read at 7C100, which is the uh, first code that is running in your system, so the BIOS loads up the master boot record, which is the MBR, or the first sector on your hard drive, to this location, and then it is executed. So that is actually the first code that is executed on your machine after the BIOS. So the first code on Windows that is run. Uh, and then there's 512 bytes of that, and I'm reading it, so I have to specify PM read. Then I print out in a table, a uh, 16 column formatted hex table, so that's all that does. I then zero the memory out, and then I write the memory. So, keep in mind this, this buffer is in user mode. I'm not actually zeroing out the memory here. I'm zeroing out my local buffer and then writing that buffer to the same location using my function. Then I dump out the memory again to validate that the settings were or the changes were reflected, and then I print it out again and close my handle. So it's pretty simple, and that um, here's actually the prototype of the IOMEM function driver handle, the buffer to be written from uh, read from to write into the kernel or read into from the kernel, however you want to say that. Uh, then the physical memory address, the amount of memory to read or write, and then either PM read to read or PM write to write. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go through this in an actual VM. I'm going to do a full screen here. Um, so I'm going to install my driver quickly, which I just have an INF for it. Might actually try and print it. Yep. I, I hate when that happens. Like it, it lags a bit, and then you get that happen. But now it's installed. And now I start it uh, as a service. Uh, the uh, the INF file that I ship with this uh, does all the installation of the service and everything. Takes a while to load up the first time. That's a Windows thing. That's not actually my issue. Don't blame me. Now I can run the code. So there we go. We get the actual uh, sector here loaded up. And there's the 55AA boot sector magic which symbolizes that this is the first sector and it is code that should be run and then this EB up top I don't know if that's a jump or a call and if it's neither I'll make a fool out of myself but that really pops out as me at me so I know that is definitely a valid call um, that that is a valid call to a valid bytecode for Intel assembly then you can see that the changes were reflected here when everything was zeroed out. If I run it again, everything's just constantly zero because it was zero prior. So, just wanted to go through that. I also want to go through some other code. So, that's all I'm really going to demonstrate. All I'm going to do is go through different fun areas of memory. So, I'm actually not going to write the next uh, 
places in memory. I'm just going to dump them and print them out. So, uh, let's try out something fun. How about the, um... <sighs> what would be fun? So we know that boot sector. We could look at the BIOS data area. 400. And we could do... That's 256 bytes. Um, okay. So this will print out uh, the BDA or, or BIOS data area. So, uh... Recompile my code. And run it. So here we go. We have the... Um, actual BIOS data area here, um, and if you know anything about the BIOS data area, the first uh, word in here is the COM1 port, which in this case is 3F8, which if you're into COM stuff, that sounds familiar. The next one is Parallel, which is uh, 2F8, which should sound familiar to you. Um, I gotta reference my tables here. Uh, yeah. I, uh, there's a bunch of other cool stuff that y you can see. Um, at 475, it will show you the number of hard disks detected, but I'm not going to be able to find that actually in here. But there's the BIOS output. I thought that was pretty fun. I, I can't think of anything else that's kind of fun to print out. Um, I mean, the video memory is not in the actual RAM. It's It would be in the video RAM. Um, I could print out the IVT, but that's not really fun. But, yeah, whatever, that should do. It, it shows that it works, and it's, it's, it's really neat. It's really neat. It's been a lot of fun. So I'll put the source below. Once again, this isn't for malicious reasons. This is more for research reasons and developing payloads before exploits come about. And it's also just kind of fun to play with your Windows system in a way that you shouldn't be able to. Um, another thing, after this, I want to make another utility that we be able to do, like, direct, uh, outs and ins of ports, say, like, OX3F8 for a serial port, where you can directly write to it and read from it using, uh, the in and out assembly, uh, wh whatever you want to call them, instructions. So, I I'm just trying to make Windows as... Since Windows is such a high-level operating system, I want to take it down a notch to where it feels like it's putty in my hands in user mode. So instead of writing drivers all the time, I can actually sit in user mode and play with it as if it's my own custom kernel. So here's here's what I have. Um, I'm probably going to make some cool stuff with this, like SSDT hooks and whatnot. But for now, this is all I'm doing. Um... I hope you enjoyed it. Source below. Give it a look. Tell me if you find any errors with it. And uh, stick around to see if I have any other fun projects that come about.